आई एम हेयर विद नैया सागी एट दी एटींथ इंडिया डिजिटल समिट नैया फर्स्ट ऑफ द थिंग विच आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू इज यू नो योर ब्रांड इज एसोसिएटेड विद अ लॉट ऑफ सेलेब्रिटीज सो हाउ डू दो इंटरग्रेट विद द ब्रांड ईच ऑफ दैम so uh, first of all kabir fantastic to be here at the digital summit but uh, you know i think the good lamp group is very uniquely positioned in having the backing of bollywood that it does so of course we have uh, top celebrity individuals like akshay kumar who we doing a jv with uh, onto dia mirza who's backing baby chakra uh, neha dhupia janki all of these people who are now public and we've kind of disclosed the public but one of our very first investors was actually shraddha kapoor if you remember right uh, uh, two years two and a half years back she invested in my glam um and i think it's really interesting because these are all equity investments in us right which is very special for a group to have uh, with these kind of names on our cap table True. right the other very unique investment we've had recently is actually from dharma Uh, which is the beginning of our partnership and investments from production houses in India, and Dharma, of course, is the most influential production house that there is True. in India, right? In True. Bollywood, uh, across the world, right? So the uh, the deal we've actually struck with Dharma revolves around a very strong product and a very strong brand integration into all the blockbuster hits that Dharma is going to basically produce and launch in the next couple of years. The, our products will be very deeply integrated in the script, in the storyline, the experience that the leading protagonists actually have with our products, and also maybe a potential for launching limited edition ranges. So okay. very very exciting times ahead. I think we're trying out a, and testing a lot of new waters that have not been tested before uh, by consumers. brand so we are also learning in this journey but it's been an exciting journey for us so obviously lot to uh, look forward to also how do you integrate the content with your business if you could tell us more about that sure so uh, you know the way we describe our group is that we are a digital first fmcg conglomerate of the future and we are powered by content creators and communities right and that's how we look at it right so while we are of course a personal care you know set of brands at the heart of it and that's our portfolio how content really powers us is basically gives us connects with a very large base of consumers who come for inspiration to set aspiration right so they'll come discover us on social discover us on our media assets also discover us through conversations in our community assets right, right? that's also content ugc content which is super potent hmm. um and they also discover us through conversations not just among peers but also with experts like makeup artists and doctors okay. right who also form part of our communities right so if you look at content ek tarika dekhne ka content ka hai which is the old like you know blog content right but the way we look at content is there's audio visual video content hmm. right but there's also conversational content right. and what ends up happening is when this content comes together people get inspired by the conversations they see there'll be a woman who'll be talking in one of our whatsapp groups or communities about the makeup that she's using hmm. right and which of those products are actually maybe my glam products right or a makeup artist doing a tutorial on our social media assets right saying this is how you apply a lipstick for your wedding day right so that's how we integrate our content into setting aspiration but also inspiring uh, our potential customers reaching them at scale but also inspiring them at scale okay very detailed answer very good answer mm -hmm. last question because i have to let her go you mentioned something very interesting a while back during the panel discussion you spoke about the time when you were in paris yeah. and uh, about their how they are using upi So, if you could just elaborate on that for the audience. So, um, you know, a couple of months back, I was invited by the Indian government to speak at Vista Tech in in Paris, which is the largest technology festival in Europe. Okay. Uh, it was a real privilege, of course, to represent India. But I think more importantly, what was really exciting was how. everybody in europe was looking at the digital public infrastructure that had already been set up in, in india, india yeah. and had scaled and there was no way there was no U, there is no upi i mean there was no upi in france at that point in time mm. but there was a partnership that the high commissioner uh, of india to france was actually then orchestrating uh, with the upi team to actually launch upi in time for the paris olympics um and that's okay. really in a, in a partnership with lyra as well right okay. so that's the partnership that they were talking about and i think it's really interesting because for the first time in history um and it's made a great pride for us as indians as well right you're looking at technology hmm. and solutions on finance on financial products on infrastructure on whole bunch of things right that are being scaled uh from india and replicated right. in the so called developed markets yeah. um So yeah I think the eyes of the world are on us and you know I think it's a very very exciting time to be building in India building for India because what you're building for India actually has global repercussions True thank you uh, so much for taking time uh, out for us and um, all the best for the future Thanks Kabir thank you